My name is Preston Singletary and I'm a glass artist and I live in Seattle, Washington. Working with my cultural background and the material of glass, uh, it gives, you know, it's, it's about family, it's about uh, community, and it's about history. And so that's one thing that I, I have found, um, you know, a real sense of purpose in what I do. Being in the Seattle area has really been great. When I first was exposed to glass, there just wasn't very many people working with hot glass at the time. And because of the Pilchuck Glass School, it really uh, kind of exploded and a lot of people moved to this area. I didn't go to art school, but I did go to Pilchuck, and that's where I learned how artists work with glass. And I was able to be exposed to the different uh, techniques of glass making. And then over time, I've dabbled in lots of different ways of uh, working with glass, and a lot of it uh, happened because of Pilchuck. The creative process for me has been challenged just by you know trying to adapt this material to the cultural symbolism and icons of my cultural background, which is Clinkett from the southeast of Alaska. The most successful art has a, a, a bit of your, your own personality to it. I think that for myself, I, I know that when I it would, you know, stepped away from making blown glass objects, you know, vases and bowls and things like that, and I started to connect it to my own culture. And, and in some cases, I will bring more personal stories into the work, like the, the glass totem pole, for instance, a story of my great-grandmother who had a pet grizzly bear as a child up in Alaska. I knew my great-grandmother, she lived into her hundreds, and so, you know, we had that connection. You know, she was full-blooded Clinkett, you know, and so she told us these stories and she told us where she came from, so personal uh, histories into the, into the artwork as well.